14 centuries ago, the beloved grandson of Prophet Muhammad sacrificed everything he had for the sake of becoming an inspiration for all of mankind despite religion, faith or creed. His legacy shines over humanity as his heroic act of sacrifice became an inspiration for millions of people across the world. From civil uh, rights leaders like Gandhi to ordinary people who serve at their local centers and charities. However, and moreover, the initiatives of Shia TV channels today embody the reminder of Prophet Muhammad to Imam Ali when he says, Oh Ali, the guidance of one, of one person through you is better than owning this entire world. Respected viewers, brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to a, a very special episode. Um, tonight's episode is different from the previous nights. Uh, we usually have a scholar, uh, you know, a, a person with a turban or a person who has uh, extreme knowledge in religion. However, tonight is a very special episode. Um, I will try my best to find out the level of dedication of Imam Hussein TV media channel group uh, towards Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them, and especially towards our master, Imam Al Hussein, peace be upon him. Please welcome with me uh, Stad Mas'ud. Khaqani, Mr. Mas'ud Khaqani, the manager and director of Imam Hussein Media uh, TV channel group number three. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Thank you. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Bar -Aimi. Thank you for joining us tonight. My pleasure. Uh, I know that uh, during the live shows, you're usually uh, in, in backstage, uh, you know, fixing out the cameras, uh, seeing how the live goes. Uh, but Alhamdulillah, it's, it's, it's good to, uh, to have you in tonight's episode. Thank you. Uh, the English channel, Imam Hussein TV channel number three. Uh, bearing the slogan, the slogan, the channel dedicated to the young Shia around the world was established on the 3rd of Sha'ban 2013, which yes. coincides with June 11th. Uh, according to statistical figures, uh, the TV channel, the English channel, has generated since its launch up to 2016 approximately 2,800 2, hours of live shows and live programs. Not only live, but also other types of programs as well. Yes, as well, yes. Uh, can you provide some history of Imam Hussein Media Channel Group? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. First of all, I have to thank you and other uh, <coughs> team of the Imam Hussein TV. Thank you very much. To manage these and uh, to try, because you are trying your best to deliver the message of Imam Hussein around the world. Thank you very much. And I have to... Uh, thank our respected viewers mm -hmm. for watching us and mm -hmm. for uh, giving us the, their spiritual support in all uh, from the beginning of this channel so far mm -hmm. uh, as for your question I have to say that uh, Imam Hussein media group established around seven years ago mm -hmm. when a group of uh, an Islamic Center mm -hmm. in Iran mm -hmm went to visit um, Sayyid, the eminent Ayatollah Sayyid Sadak Shirazi mm -hmm. yes. in Qadir, in the occasion of Eid al-Qadir mm -hmm. around eight, eight years, uh, seven years ago. Mm -hmm. In that meeting, Sayyid uh, Shirazi told them that the, a team of Wahhabi scholars are mm -hmm. going to establish a channel mm -hmm. in, the name, in the holy name of Imam Hussein alayhi salam and trying to use the holiness of this name to disguise, misguide people mm -hmm. and uh, mention the importance of uh, establishing a channel. Mm -hmm. This team of uh, Islamic Center, to be honest, they were not uh, expert in the media. They were only, um, they had uh, background of the Islamic centers yes. or, or Majalis, something like mm -hmm. this. But because of that, they began a big project named Imam Hussein TV. Mm -hmm. On that time, it was in Persian language. Mm -hmm. 
they begin working on the uh, different aspects of the channel within uh, production team making studios making uh, bringing different types of uh, experts and uh, people who can assist them in mm -hmm. the uh, channel so their, abil their abilities yes and they found their uh, one of those people who joined them as the uh, director was myself Mm -hmm. And around six and a half years ago, mm -hmm. I joined uh, Imam Hussein TV team. Mm -hmm. We established being on air six months after that meeting wow. and in Persian language. And Alhamdulillah, day by day, we improved and uh, we found we uh, could uh, affect or we could gather a large amount of audience around the world, especially in Farsi speaking countries like Iran. Uh, Afghanistan and Tajikistan mm -hmm. as well as some European countries because you know there are a lot of Iranian and Afghani people around the world like uh, North America or Europe mm -hmm. and they're living there so we Alhamdulillah we could uh, provide them with good quality of the uh, Islamic different types of Islamic shows mm -hmm. after three years we decided to establish an Arabic channel mm -hmm. And Alhamdulillah, um, I myself was uh, at that time well, being um, privileged to be the manager of the Arabic channel, mm -hmm. the founder of Arabic channel. And after that, after two years, we decided to begin English channel. Nice. And uh, it was the year that you mentioned, three years ago. Yes. And in the a uh, holy occasion of 3rd of Sha'ban, the birth of Imam Hussein yes. we established the Imam Hussein TV 3 mm -hmm. in the English language. Mm -hmm. And it's, sorry to cut you off, but it's important to state that um, all three channels were actually opened on the 3rd of Sha'ban, but yes, in, 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 yes, in different yes, years. Yes, exactly. Exactly. We tried our best to uh, find good events and occasion yes. and which event is better than the, the, the birth, birth of Imam Hussein definitely, of course. for establishing his channel. Yes. After establishing English Channel, you know our main office in is, is in uh, Iraq, Karbala. Mm -hmm. But Alhamdulillah, we got a lot of assist and uh, we tried to make programs around the world, especially in, uh, in the UK, London, and in some cities in Canada and the US, mm -hmm. as well as some European cities like uh, Copenhagen, Denmark, mm -hmm. and uh, as well as, of course, Lebanon. You have Australia as well? Australia as well, but mm -hmm. uh, we are trying our best to uh, manage and to handle different types of programs and to produce different types of programs to uh, attract uh, different tastes of people, especially yes. youth. Mm -hmm. um, for every channel, whether online or via satellite, I know you mentioned uh, that it's uh, been approximately seven years now, every channel as I mentioned, online or via satellite, <coughs> they have to have main objectives to look forward into the future to see uh, what their main goals and what their motives are yes. uh, to continue running. Uh, from my experience in working at Al Hussein TV3, um, I came to notice some objectives. Uh, just this is personal, you might have something else, uh, but protecting the faith of millions of young Shias around the world, especially in the West, because you know, we, we, we face uh, a lot of misconceptions, exactly. especially Muslims living in the West, um, you know, Islam this, Islam that. Uh, so it's the TV channel somewhat tries to refute uh, those uh, misconceptions, assisting Muslim parents to help uh, them raising decent children and virtuous young Shia to lead. I mean, it's it's important. It's different when we mention that, uh, you know, we're, we're um, raising our children in the proper Islamic way, some may think that we're, you know, raising them to be extremists, <laughs> or, you know, or radicals. Right. You know what I mean? They, they, they always focus on the, uh, the negative aspect of Islam. But the channel, the channel, yeah, it's an unfortunate, but the channel seems to, you know, go against that view and show what the actual, you know, how, how to raise your children the proper Islamic way that Prophet Muhammad, Imam Ali, the Ahlul Bayt, the companions of Prophet Muhammad, of course, the pious companions of Prophet Muhammad, who come, who came to actually, you know, benefit humanity, not you know, destroy humanity. Uh, so, if you can mention, what are the main objectives of the channel or the uh, media group? 
thank you for mentioning some of that. Mm -hmm. As the main objective, I can say that uh, according to the name of the channel, yes. we are Imam Hussein TV, mm -hmm. and our main focus is on the uh, <coughs> sorry, the history, the message, and the virtu uh, rituals of Imam Hussein mm -hmm. So we are trying our best to produce different types of show. For first, introducing Imam Hussein salam to the world. Mm -hmm. First of all, to the uh, especially Shia youth, yes, and after that for uh, non-Shia and non-Muslims. Mm -hmm. But before before all, we, we are focusing on Shia youth because, as as you mentioned, unfortunately they are are being influenced by the uh, Western culture, mm -hmm. and it's very very difficult for the parents to keep them in the line in yes. the line of Islam. Mm -hmm. And some of them, unfortunately, when they try to bring them to the line up Islam they go more and they become extremists yes and of Alhamdulillah in Shia sect we don't have such we extremists. have less yeah but uh, in the other parties um, unfortunately we see that we do they uh, they become extremists and they they try they change yeah, they, the they, culture they. and they begin fighting with the culture that they are living in mm -hmm. we don't want to make struggles we don't want to uh, <coughs> to make raise tension between the Muslims yeah even between the Muslims and non-Muslims non non we don't want well, to yes. encourage people yes to fight with non-Muslims mm -hmm. we That's just want to provide them with the pure Islam as as Imam Hussein says from the channel of Imam Hussein from the uh, ma message of Imam Hussein to um, encourage people and to make them know about the pure Islam mm -hmm. so in this way we are producing different types of shows especially for example one show we, we exactly directly say that the show name is who is Imam Hussein yes so introducing the history of Imam Hussein what happened to Imam Hussein in his youth in mm -hmm. his childhood in his um, uh, long age and in the, especially in the mm -hmm. uh, event of Karbala mm -hmm. what lessons can we get from this and uh, the rest mm -hmm. also we cover different types of rituals around the world especially in the Iraq and especially in Karbala in particular yes. in different occasions like in I, I can mention as uh, happy occasions like Sha'baniyyah or Rajabiyyah and uh, as sad occasions I can mention um, Arba'in, Ashura and yes. the Arafat yes so covering the events around the world especially in Iraq is our second mission mm -hmm. or objective after that, we are trying to help uh, <coughs> to help uh, teachers, Islamic teachers, to provide them with pure, useful information or material mm -hmm. to use in their studies. Yes. So in this case, uh, these teachers or these Islamic uh, scholars can have a resource of uh, pure information, pure material to enhance their knowledge, to improve their knowledge, and to, um, how can I say, to extend this knowledge and mm -hmm. distribute this knowledge to yes. the communities. Mm -hmm. The other objective is to make the Islamic Shia communities around the world more, more active. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, we can see that most of our communities, most of our Islamic centers and Husseiniyas around the world, they're segregated. Segregated? And they are not facilitated. Yes. They are not together, and they are not facilitated. Yes. As uh, we, when we see the quality of the lectures or the programs they provide, even for their websites or their YouTube channels, you can see that the quality is in most of the communities are very very less. And in comparison, even with uh, such countries like Iraq, you can see that there is a big difference between the quality of the uh, Islamic programs in um, Islamic countries like Iraq or Iran in comparison with Islamic communities in the West, especially in North America, mm -hmm. Australia, or the Europe. So we are trying to encourage the people in the communities to enhance the facility of the, uh, their, <coughs> sorry, sorry yes. for coughing. No, 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 it's I okay. Ask you have a little uh, cold, it's okay. Forgiveness no, no, from no, the no, viewers. No, no, it's okay. Um, we want to encourage the uh, 
brothers and sisters in, around the world in the Shia community to enhance, to improve their facilities, their equipments, the camera, microphone, the, even the decoration and set of the uh, majlis to uh, record and even providing live coverage of the majlis around the world in the channel. Mm -hmm. In this way, we can, um, we can compete some other um, groups who are around the world uh, trying to change the culture of people, especially our youth, to yes. their uh, religion. Yes. And uh, we want to uh, compete them with the quality. As you know, uh, when a young boy or a young girl, lady, opens the TV, first of all, the thing which uh, may make him or her attractive to the channel to watch it is the quality, the video yes. and audio quality. Yes. So we have to uh, increase or improve the quality of, uh, first of all, our productions, mm -hmm. and secondly, the productions of our brothers around the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, we encourage them, and also we provide them with the chance of uh, airing the, the programs in the channel. For mm -hmm. example, in Ramadan, we have eight uh, majlis around the world, for example, from Canada, from the UK, from uh, USA, from uh, Australia, we air their majlis with their equipment to uh, encourage them to improve their mm. quality. Mm -hmm. And they are, alhamdulillah, after three years, we can see that a lot of communities joined this, uh, how can I say? This initiative? <coughs> yes, to have better quality, first of all, for their they are youth and mm -hmm. uh, who are participating in the in the majalis, and secondly, for the rest of the communities to watch them. You know, most of the, uh, there are a lot of people who cannot join uh, the to attend the majlis because yes. of different reasons, mm -hmm. being far from the majlis or being ill or having mm -hmm. some problems. No, very busy. Yes, especially so in the West, because people they are prefer very busy. to uh, to watch it in online or YouTube or by the. Uh, TV channels. Mm -hmm. So we want to um, provide different types of viewers with different um, platforms mm -hmm. like internet-based platforms like um, YouTube or website or social uh, media. mobile application or social media as well as uh, TV satellite broad broadcasting mm -hmm. and other ways to <coughs> to provide the people not, not. Uh, how can I say? In, we can say that uh, we don't make any excuse for the viewers. H however, they want to watch. Yeah, they they they, they, they have the ability. Inshallah, mm. day by day, we are increasing the the the, the methods of the conveying the message. Mm. Inshallah. Perfect, perfect. I mean, and it's it's important. You mentioned a a point right there before we go into a break. I would like to uh, add upon that point is that. Uh, Muslims in the West should actually go hand in hand with each other. Uh, no, looking at the similarities, uh, before you I had Sayyid Hussein Qazwini uh, who joined me for 14 nights. In one episode we talked about Muslims should focus on the similarities more than focus on focusing on the differences. I mean, this topic is raised between, you know, sects between Sunnis and Shia, Sunnis and other uh, schools of thought, Shia and other schools of thought. But yet we do find them within Shias, you know. Personally, I, I, it's, it's safe to say that you know, in, in the West, in, in North America, not to be specific, uh, but one center is approximately two blocks away, two kilometers away from from another center. Why not combine those and combine the energies to you know, to serve? I'm saying the proper way yes. instead of you know, you having a majlis over here. That's good. It's beneficial. But if you can collect everyone under one roof and share the same message that would be shared in, in, in this center and this center, you would have a greater reward because you're gathering everyone in just one center. You know yes. what I mean? So it's important to keep that in mind. But inshallah, we'll continue our just discussion. Just a note, please. Yes. Uh, for this, there are some of the brothers and sisters, I like their approach. Mm -hmm. They did, for example, especially in Ramadan, they do some inter intercentral show uh, in their central majlis for mm -hmm. example in the eve of uh, 15th of ramadan one center for example in halifax canada yes. mm -hmm. one center uh, hosts the rest of centers in the city and they come together and do the majlis together nice in this way 
the brotherhood among the community will yes. increase in and alhamdulillah this will inshallah this is a good approach for other brothers and sisters definitely to do it and uh, we can we can use different types of events mm -hmm. to host such majalis mm -hmm. we can say uh, in t even even you can have not only the uh, hosting only shia brothers and sisters definitely. you can host other muslims and mm -hmm. host the rest of community you can ask them even you can christians, invite them I mean, yeah, yeah christians even they, they come religions. and see what exactly you do this is not uh, shiism is not the th or islam is not the thing which is you, you hear from people like donald trump she yeah. islam is something that uh, we are and we have to indicate we have to show ourselves yes we have to embrace what islam is yeah. and it's i mean the best way to actually um to share what islam has to teach and what islam has to offer is coming hand in hand with together uh, exactly. and, and you know working on on one basis that islam is a religion of peace and compassion not the religion of you know as as uh, some people state but i would like to go into a short break i will come back to this discussion shortly respected viewers do stay tuned after the break for we inshallah uh, will discuss the future of <coughs> imam hussein tv media channel group so that's after the break stay tuned <laughs> Respected viewers, welcome back. I uh, hope you inshallah enjoyed uh, those recorded, not live. Usually we have uh, live, but uh, sorry for the technical difficulties that were going on. Uh, so you were provided with uh, recorded footages from inside the Holy Shrine of our master, Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam. But before the break, we talked uh, and discussed some history regarding Imam Hussein TV media channel group. And uh, back to the discussion with my dear guest, uh, Mr. Mas'ud Khaqani. Welcome back, Habibi. Thank Allah you. Allah khalikum, Allah. Um, Mr. Mas'ud, before the break, we talked about the history of uh, uh, the channel and we talked about some objectives uh, regarding what the channel has to offer and what's its main objectives uh, towards serving the Ahl Bayt alayhim salam. Personally, I've watched numerous TV, Shia TV channels, and their programs are very compelling to watch. They're, they're, they're very interesting. But the channel of Imam Hussein TV3, I would like to focus on this now. Uh, you know, the Arabic and the English, uh, sorry, the Arabic and the Farsi, uh, you know, they don't serve the, the Muslims living in the West as much as the English does. Uh, so I would like to focus on that. Other TV channels who are also in English, they have interesting shows, but uh, personally, from uh, working with this channel, uh, I saw various, very interesting and very compelling shows uh, that respect viewers are actually, um, you know, uh, interacting with, such as the the, the live programs uh, with the, in Kalmia. Uh, I was, I think, uh, in uh, the end of Rajab. Yes, I was in Kalmia two months ago. Two months ago, and uh, especially in Shabaniya when we were on the roads uh, leading to Karbala, uh, viewers across the world, especially in the West. Uh, like to see what the atmosphere is because it's very difficult for them you know they have jobs they have school they have education though so it becomes difficult for them to expenses to as well expenses as well so it's difficult for them to leave that and to come here so they prefer as you mentioned to watch it over tv and see what the atmosphere here is like uh, so in, in the future they can plan uh, for uh, specific matters that they have to bring mm -hmm. along with uh, but what has this branch, Imam Hussein TV3, what has this branch provided for the millions of Muslims living in the West? As you mentioned, the most important, and I can say the, the, the point of the channel, Imam Hussein 3, mm -hmm. is the live coverages. Yes. As you mentioned, a lot of people around the world do not have the ability to come and visit the shrines in the, uh, different uh, different events. Mm -hmm. So we try to uh, provide them with the high quality and um, from different aspects of the event. For example, in Arba'in, we send different uh, two or three SNGs, vehicles, mm -hmm. to the roads directing to Karbala yes. to cover the um, walk of the people uh, to the Karbala. Mm -hmm. Also, we try to 
uh, have live sh uh, shows from the whole city of Karbala mm -hmm. to show how the atmosphere is, as well as the reports, as you, for example, this year, you and brother Ali Fadl. Yes, um, I had the honor to, to record with him this year. Yes, Alhamdulillah, I send my salams to him, from yes. whoever, wherever he is. And uh, we try to bring the atmosphere of the Holy Land to the every single um, house around the world mm -hmm. for our brothers and sisters. This is first. Secondly, we are trying to um, increase the quality, graphical quality, video quality, visual graph uh, quality of the shows in all type of the shows. For example, even if we have a um, simple lecture, we try to make, make it uh, more attractive for the people. Not only a lecture from the beginning to the end. We yes. try to add some graphics, we add uh, some notes to the lecture to be more useful as well. Mm, interesting as well. Interesting as well, yeah. Uh, also, uh, we, Alhamdulillah, we were um, privileged to make or produce different types of documentaries mm -hmm. in uh, uh, some countries like UK yes. and uh, Canada, USA and mm -hmm. also uh, Lebanon to um, show the ability of Shia community. Yes. Sometimes we hear here and there that uh, they say that Shia community are only poor people living in They're the weak. society, they are weak, they, don't, they are not educated or something like this. Mm -hmm. But Alhamdulillah, uh, there are a lot of educated Shia or businessmen, business women. The majority women. of the Shia are educated, it's yes. safe to say that. Yes, unfortunately, p the, the idea around Shia is not that. Yeah, we are it's, going it's, to, it's very to show that uh, the Shia are educated, the Shia are wealthy, the Shia are rich, and the Shia can do whatever they want. So we made a uh, show named Shia Talent to show different uh, talents and abilities of Shias around the world. Uh, as well, for example, a Shia who is a lawyer, or a Shia who is a businessman, or even a um, TV director, yes. or a cinema di director. Any types of um, talents and abilities and um, expertise which is specific in the community, we try to make it bold and uh, bring it for the make people. Make it outstanding so people can, can see what she has asked of. Exactly. The other uh, types of the documentaries is about uh, converts. Yes. Who become Shia from different re religions. So we want to show that there are a lot of people because of the attractiveness of the mm -hmm. Shia mm -hmm. beliefs and Shia, mm -hmm. uh, Shia uh, school, school of thought, they uh, become inter uh, become interested in the Shia and they become Shia, converting mm -hmm. to the What's Shia. What's this show called? It is the Awakened. Awakened. This is the name of the show. Mm -hmm. Also, we have documentaries. For example, we made uh, with brother um, Reza John Wedadi mm -hmm. in London. We made a uh, two series of documentaries from those who are attending the Ziyarat of Arba'in mm -hmm. from uh, West, for example, from New Washington, D.C. and from the London. The camera comes from their home, hometown, yes. to the airport, to, mm -hmm. the, to Najaf, through the walk and to the whole city of Karbala and uh, records their experience in this long journey. Yes. And it was very, alhamdulillah, very interesting and very, um, a lot of people liked it and mm, it was watched very it. successful. Yes. And the, th the second series will be, inshallah, shown after Ramadan, mm -hmm. which, was, which is recorded for the last Arba'in. Inshallah, we will uh, air it in after Ramadan, which inshallah. is named uh, Path of Light. Inshallah. Uh, I would also like to mention that uh, there are also other programs that uh, show different holy shrines in Iraq. I mean, uh, Sheikh Muntadar Karbalai, uh, yes. my close friend and dear brother to mine. Uh, salams my, to him. My, my salams to him. Um, he was, I mean, his show was very successful in going to different uh, shrines in Iraq to, you know, to provide information. For me personally, uh, I once I went with him and one, one shrine was, I think, the grandson of Al-Abbas, 
Uh, I personally, I didn't even know that he exists. Mm -hmm. But yet, there are a lot of holy shrines. This is our heritage. Definitely. And it's important to share that. And personally, I haven't seen any other TV channel that provided uh, such coverages to other holy shrines. Especially, I mean, in, in Arba'in, uh, I had a program uh, regarding uh, you know, the preparations for Arba'in and how people, if they're coming from the West, uh, you know, to, to, to gather their, their stuff and what they need because it's it's a long walk. If, if, if mm -hmm. there's an airport in Basra, some people walk from Kuwait. Yes. So it's it's a long walk and it's not one day or two days. It's approximately 13 days to get to Karbala from Basra and approximately two or three days uh, from Najaf. So we, we have a, a, a lot of space to Karbala. So you, they, they need to, uh, you know, uh, gather everything they need. And Nothing you can call it but miracle. It is. It is. It's, it's a miracle for approximately over 22 to 24 million in a small city like Karbala. Uh, it's, it, it is a miracle. Uh, but all these shows, for the respected viewers, you can log into our YouTube channel at Hussein 3 tv and check them out. Uh, but <clears throat> now I would like to move to a different topic, uh, a very sensitive topic that uh, every Western TV channel seems to uh, provoke what Islam is not. And it becomes very annoying. I mean, considering the great threat that Muslims are facing uh, around the world right now, especially uh, after the accusations against them, uh, especially after uh, the massacres and hijacking of Islam by ISIS, what has IHTV3, Imam Hussein TV3, done in refuting and exposing ISIS and their true intention for their uncivilized actions against humanity? I can say that we have done three uh, different uh, actions er, uh, for this matter. Mm -hmm. First of all, we try to um, provide the world with the uh, pure Islam, what exactly Islam is, mm -hmm. and tried our best to uh, introduce Islam to non-Muslims. Mm -hmm. So uh, if a person, a non-Muslim person, uh, comes to our YouTube channel or our website, mm -hmm. he can find a, a big library of the Islamic beliefs, especially we have a show in the name of Islamic beliefs Yes, as well. with Brother Hassan Hadi. The, and Brother Ahmad... Uh, Ahmad... Uh, Salim. Ahmad Salim, yes. yes. And uh, so we... Uh, plus to this, uh, we have a lot of sh lectures, we have we, we, a lot of talk shows mm -hmm. talking about the uh, what exactly Islam is mm -hmm. and what uh, exactly Islam is not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, of course. I mean, we have morals and minutes with uh, Brother Muhammad Ali, who you yes. know summarizes so much in two minutes or three minutes yes. and provides the exact morals that Islam has to offer. Yes, and uh, we are trying to. Mm, we are trying to change the idea which main, mainstream media is trying to uh, affect to the brains of the here Western people. Mm -hmm. We try to change it and uh, to, um, I can say, shed light over the um, brains of people mm -hmm. and uh, try to uh, make them survive them from this mm -hmm. brainwash. Yeah. Se secondly, we are we are cooperating with different uh, Shia communities to make a kind of uh, protection for mm. Shia around the world. Especially, we have uh, brothers in the D.C. Washington D.C. and they, Alhamdulillah, made uh, communi the community in the name of Shia Rights Watch, yes. like Human Rights Watch, mm -hmm. and they registered in UN even, mm -hmm. and inshallah, and they are doing their best to show the world and especially to put uh, force over the uh, different organizations around the world, especially U UN, to prevent different governments and different people uh, to uh, make cruelties over Shia. Yes. So this is the second one. And the third one is uh, to help Shia brothers and sisters to uh, how to introduce themselves in their society. We are going uh, to make a full series of shows mm -hmm. with the action plans for a Shia brother and sister who is living in the West and uh, teaching him how to 
behave in the society which shows that you are Shia, you are Muslim, and you have your own ideas and um, beliefs, but mm -hmm. you are at the same time a very good um, member of the community, yes. and you are very helpful for the mm -hmm. community. So these three are our methods to um, work against the idea of ISIS and mm -hmm. the idea of the mainstream media. Mm -hmm. And definitely, I mean, uh, to add upon that, <coughs> there are various misconceptions raised uh, when the term ISIS is raised. Uh, I mean, first, extremists or Islam, the radical religion, such statements don't actually, I mean, when you're looking at approximately uh, 2 billion the population of Muslims is is approximately two billion, uh, one point seven or two billion up to now, and you're calling their religion radical and you're calling their religion extreme. When, if if you want to actually just take it into in, into account, that two billion people, if all of them were extremists and all of them were terrorists, why is this planet still you know <laughs> alive? Yes, you know what I mean. Muslims just if you just open the first chapter of the Quran, the first verse that you read is in the name of God, the most compassionate, the most merciful, the mo the most beneficent, the most merciful. So we do see how they're trying to use the image of Islam in their own way to perceive others and deceive others. Uh, but that's uh, a, a different topic. And uh, seriously, it needs a whole lecture yes. and a, a couple of episodes for that. Uh, but finally, we have two minutes. Uh, and I would like to talk about the future vision in the upcoming years. Mm -hmm. What will IHTV3, Imam Hussein TV3, provide for its viewers? This vision is, is I think it needs a whole episode to talk about it. Does, it does, yes. Yes. But uh, as a list, I can say that we are, first of all, going to uh, improve the um, uh, quality of the shows. Mm -hmm. We are going to make, produce, inshallah, more newer uh, types of shows mm -hmm. and um, uh, also increase the number of the uh, shows on air for example at the moment we are airing six minutes a day and we repeat it mm -hmm. but inshallah we are going to increase it in the coming year to eight minutes eight oh, sorry eight hours mm -hmm. not, minutes. No, not six minutes eight <laughs> six, six, six hours, six hours mean, a yes. day and inshallah in coming year it will be uh, eight hours or more inshallah. also we are going this is very important for us. We are going to uh, increase the number of platforms uh, to make the channel available for wherever and whenever. Yes. Especially we are going to uh, go in, uh, through Sky platform for covering the UK, inshallah, mm -hmm. and inshallah. Uh, getting the audience of the target audience of UK. Mm -hmm. Uh, also, we are, inshallah, being in co cooperation with our brothers in uh, other TV channels like Safir TV and uh, Ahl Bayt TV mm -hmm. and making um, cooperative shows and uh, trying to share our abilities, our equipment, our studios with them to, to convey the message of Islam. Whoever around the world is trying to uh, do a kind of uh, service to Ahlul Bayt. Mm -hmm. We are, he is more than welcome here in Imam Hussein TV and we are do our best to help him mm -hmm. and uh, to, um, uh, to help him to bring the message, inshallah. Inshallah. Thank you very much for joining us, Mr. Mas'ud. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, grant to the ability to continue serving Imam Hussein Al Islam in the proper way. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Respective viewers, thank you very much for tuning in in this special episode. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give all the believers the ability to work together and reflect and embrace what the true Islam has to offer. Once again, thank you very much. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. My pleasure. Thank you for